I think one thing I love about Tyler is the experiences that he had when he was with Ateneo. Yeah. He never really tried to do more than what was asked of him. He played behind SJ Belangel, he played behind Matt Nieto, so he knew his role. Yeah. Now entering a team with Coach Topex, he knows na, you know, there's an RJ Hazul, there's an Aljun Melesio, there's a, uh, well, obviously Matty Wright's not there anymore, but still, he knows his role and he will be very good in that role, which is spot up, be ready. Every Anytime the ball is kicked out to him, he will let it fly. So, you know, I like how humble he is as a, as a star. Because he's really gonna stick with that role. Kung anong sa kanya ni Coach Topek. Itong si Tyler, and I'm sure we can use this example for the rest of the rookies of it, came into the league and still continued to be good at what they were good at in college. And a lot of people were questioning, ma, ma translate bayan in the professional level? And it looks like for Tyler, he has. Is that a surprise to you? Na, na translate niya yung skill set niya from Ateneo here to the PBA? Well, he didn't really need to change much. Exactly his role in Ateneo, that's exactly what he got. Although he can start at times for Coach Topex, and we all know this, Coach Topex, such a player's coach, yep. you know, would love to see his, his players flourish. Mm. So he's definitely going to put Tyler in situations where he can be successful. Mm -hmm. Now let's move on to your second pick, Pinili mo si Justin Arana. You know, he was averaging 8.8 .8 points per game, 8 rebounds per game, and when you do talk to a lot of senior centers, in the past, they would actually compare him to June Marfa yeah. Hardo. Do you see that comparison as well? Yeah. Well, I covered him in, in college. Yeah. And there were times where he had like 20, I think he had 28, 30 rebounds. Yeah. And people were were surprised when I said that he had June Mar potential. Hmm. I didn't say he was going to be June Mar, but he had June Mar potential. Because at the end of the day, you really can't teach size. Yeah. You can teach size, you can teach heft. And for him to play behind or at least play for Coach Daniel Defonso, you know that he's gonna, sooner or later, his skills will catch up with his athleticism and his, you know, his build. So, yeah, by far, the obviously, Junmar is a specimen. I think the closest would be Justin Arana. Only time will tell, of course. Yeah, only, time only time will, will tell. tell if he'll meet the Mikey Reyes potential. I mean, sorry, <laughs> the potential of uh, Junmar Fajardo. Ito naman, Brandon Ganuelas Rosser uh, from the Blackwater Bossing. You mentioned athleticism a while ago when talking about Arana, pero... Ibang level talaga yung BGR in terms of athleticism. He started the conference a bit injured, but then what did you like from him once he got healthy? His versatility. Because at the end of the day, we all expected him to be, you know, BGR because, you know, number one pick. He played great yeah. in the 3x3 setting. We were all just waiting to see anong kaya niya sa 5 on 5. There was a time where when Blackwater was really on top of the world, but there was also a time that they were struggling. So with BGR, I believe he has to deliver. I think it's a mere... You have no choice yeah. but to deliver. You have no choice but to produce because Blackwater is really counting on uh, BGR. And also, you know, it doesn't hurt to have Akuya, who's been in the league for oh, so long. Yeah, yeah. He, knows, he knows what it's all about. Yep. Yeah. He, and his career is in the finals. So mm -hmm. again, he will have to watch. He will have to, you know, experience that whole finals uh, atmosphere. Yeah. Now talking about another Blackwater bossing, Ato Ular. Your favorite? Ma Wag <laughs> no, but you know what? He's been doing well. I have to still go back. He's the league leader in terms of rookies yeah. in yes. in statistical points. But we, I would always go back to that crazy 34-point yeah. game that he had on his first conference. Mm -hmm. yeah. to, to be able to perform that way, what kind of game do you see or what kind of future do you see from I covered him in, in college. I covered him in the mid, on the mid-pro level. And with Ato Ular, that's, those, are, those were 34 points with no play called for him. Yep. There was not one time yep. that Ariel Van, Van Guard just said, let's go to Ato Ular. I don't think anyone has ever said that, but he just knows his role. He knows that he's not the most skillful, but he also knows that he can outwork, out jump, out hustle. The, and especially, I mean, I mean in Manati na hindi. Pag nag-hustle ka sa PB, medyo may lamang ka oh. <laughs> Kasi kalaro mo mga medyo veterano na. So I think, he surprised a lot of bigs. He surprised yeah. a lot of people in the PBA. And if he continues to play his that role, you know, it's gonna be sky's the limit for Atul. Para siyang an eater, no? Para just like sniffing out all of those balls. Oh, oh, ganun -ganun lang sa ilalim na ring, eh. oh and yes, and, and and I will try to call him the an eater next time. <laughs> uh, ito naman, Javi Gomez de Liano, uh, who came into the league. Siempre a lot of a lot of news around him because he was within Ebra first and got into Terra Firma and people were wondering what he could do with the Terra Firma Jeep and he impressed a lot of people including you. Well, some people break out early, some people, you know, 
takes time to really adjust to, to the PBA game. And with Javi, again, just like Justin, you can't teach height. You have a guy who is, what, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, who can shoot from the outside. You see his build, you see his body yeah. ngayon, parang condition na condition na. He's really a pro now. He thinks like a pro. He acts like a pro. And he, you know, he works out like a pro now. So, just like anybody in, the, in that rookie list, sky's the limit for this kid as long as he finds his way through that rotation, gets his rhythm going, and, you know, we'll see what happens with, with Javi. Mm -hmm. But one thing, though, I have to bring up Gian Mamuyak. It was oh, tough, yeah. top five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you have to bring up Gian Mamuya. You yeah. have to bring up like length, uh, uh, both ends of the floor he can play. His pesciness of defense. His oh, oh. pesciness, no, he's his always IQ. Been known for his defense. Yes, yeah. yeah. So these six guys.